take two. <laughs> I'm Tara. I'm Molly. We're from the Archive Shop here at Forklist. And Molly's gonna show you how to make. Today we're gonna make a vanilla bean soy candle. <laughs> Sorry, we have a giggles today, so bear with us. So we're gonna use some soy flakes, okay? We have got a candle wick <laughs> that we're gonna stick down inside here and attach it to the jar so it doesn't move on you when you pour the liquid in. And we have some vanilla bean fragrance. So our first step is we're gonna take these soy flakes and we're just gonna dump them into a measuring cup. Um, size doesn't really matter. Uh, I would recommend using a glass measuring cup if you have one at home. It is easier to get the wax out of the glass container than it is a plastic one. However, here at the shop, all we have is plastic, so that's what we're gonna use today. So we'll be right back after we go in and microwave this and melt it down, and we'll show you how to pour it into your, your lovely little jar here. So Molly, how long do we need to microwave this? So this, we're gonna microwave in 30 second intervals to get it melted down to a good liquid consistency. And then you're gonna wait about two to three minutes before you pour it in your jar and put your fragrance in. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Oops, right. So Molly's on to microwave all the uh, soy wax flakes. I think that's what you call it. Anyways, while she's doing that, the thing you should be doing is go ahead and use a little blue, a uh, sticky thing that we comes in your kit, and stick it on the bottom of your wick, like so, and then put it at the bottom of your candle jar. And you want to press it down pretty hard until it sticks. I have my job to do. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that one out here. using the microwave. So doing the 30 second intervals, it ended up being a total of two minutes to melt down our soy wax. And here you can see it's a nice, good consistency looking form. I uh, let it sit for about a minute so that it would cool down enough that it's not gonna burn off our fragrance. So we're gonna put uh, some vanilla bean fragrance in here and this will be packaged in your kit for you. And how many milliliters do we have in the candle? Uh, there'll be at least one milliliter in here, not a little bit more. That one milliliter. So you just squeeze it into your container with your liquid soy wax. Stir it up a little bit. Make sure it's good and mix in there. We're gonna take the chopstick out. And then we're just gonna take our container of melted soy wax and we're just gonna go ahead and start pouring it in here. Then we're going to use a chopstick, and you can use a set of chopsticks, one on either side, to help keep your wick from moving. Now it'll take um, a couple hours for this to set up all the way and become solid enough that you can move it. So make sure when you do pour your candle, you pour it in a spot that it can stay for quite a bit of time. For at least an hour, I would say. Yeah, sometimes, depending upon the coolness of your house, depends upon how fast it's going to cool. If it's warmer in your house, it's going to take longer. So just keep in mind at least an hour, maybe a little bit more. As it starts to um, starts to solidify, you'll see different colors. It'll start changing from like this yellowish color to a white color. So remember if uh, you guys do want to do or make one of these uh, candles we're uh, just charging one ten dollars I'm sorry for one or fifteen for two and these are six ounce candles and fed with a fragrance and uh and instructions what else yeah so you'll get everything you need to make a vanilla bean soy candle hope you enjoyed our video and we will see you again next time